Want to speak real Russian from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at RussianPod101.com. Immersion is often hailed as the most efficient and effective way to learn a foreign language. In many ways, it's true. With all the language learning methods out there, nothing else comes close to having to think and interact with your environment in the language you're learning. Unfortunately, though, most language learners wrongly assume that the only way to experience language immersion is to pack up and move to a foreign country. But not everyone can afford to spend a summer abroad just to learn a foreign language. Luckily, there are other ways to immerse yourself. These methods are less obvious, but they are effective. In this video, we'll take a look at five steps you can take for the ultimate language immersion experience at home. Number one, transform your digital world into your target language. Technology is an indispensable part of modern life. We interact with phones, computers, tablets, and other electronic devices throughout the day. Why not take these interactions and use them to practice your target language? Most devices give you the option of switching the language of the operating system. Switching your phone or laptop interface to your target language won't make you fluent, but it will help you engage with the language in a very practical way, multiple times every day. Another way to transform your digital life is to check which sites you use on a daily basis and use them in your target language also. A great example of this is switching your version of Google. Using Google in your target language will allow you to search for things in that language and you're more likely to get results in that language as well. So if you're looking for a popular band, a show, or food, something that's usually written in your target language, it will actually be easier to find information about it if you switch your version of Google. Of course, you can also change popular social networks like Facebook or Twitter. You can even go to news sites for your fill of global news. Do you like podcasts? Try listening to a couple popular podcasts in your target language. Number two, write out a speech or conversation in your target language. A surefire way to increase your ability in a foreign language is to write out a mock conversation or speech in that language. Pretend you have to give a speech on one of your favorite topics. It could be anything from sports, hobbies, or even your favorite movie genre. Now, take some time to write out your fictitious speech. Inevitably, you will hit some roadblocks. But when you get stuck, research the words or grammar points you don't know. This is a highly effective and practical way to increase your vocabulary, and it'll help you practice thinking in a different language. Writing a long, connected train of thoughts exposes the gaps and weaknesses in your language studying. Once you know what these are, you're free to practice them and use them to continue on with your speech. This is also a great way to learn new words in the context of your entire speech. Context is king when you're learning a language. Learning words in the context of other words and sentences helps you surmise what new words mean. It also helps you get comfortable with how these words are practically used. Not to mention, context helps you to remember and recall new information more easily. Number three, practice with native speakers. There are a lot of great learning resources out there for anyone learning a new language. However, nothing quite comes close to practicing the language with a real person. If you live in or around a large metropolitan area, there's a chance that there are some native speakers nearby. Check and see if your area has any local language exchanges or language speaking groups. You're likely to find a native speaker there. If you can't make a connection locally, you can search online. Just as there are language exchanges in the real world, there are also online ones, most of which are free. Number four, connect with other language learners. Native speakers aren't the only people who can aid you on your language learning journey. Practicing with other learners is also helpful. Don't worry if you practice with someone who has a higher or lower level in the language than you. If you're the more advanced learner, you can learn a lot by teaching someone else. As you help someone else understand difficult words or grammatical concepts, you'll find that you start to better understand them yourself. If your learning partner has a higher level, they can be the one to help you overcome the hurdles you encounter as a beginner. After all, what better way to learn than from someone who, as a language learner, has been in your shoes? Number five, reward yourself in your target language. At the end of a busy day, we all love a little relaxation and me time. One of the most enjoyable and effective ways to develop your language skills is to kick back and enjoy the language while doing leisure activities. Whether it's listening to music, watching a movie or TV show, reading a book, or even enjoying a good online video binge, 
Even spending just an extra 30 minutes a day doing something you love in your target language can yield some serious long-term results. If you're a beginner, start with more basic content. You might have to start out listening to simple songs or even watching children's shows. After a while, though, you'll be able to dive into the meatier stuff and more engaging stuff as your proficiency increases. Learning a foreign language doesn't mean you have to spend your days straining over grammar rules or textbooks. Any way that you can take your learning off the page and make it more enjoyable will help you learn faster. Immersion is a powerful way to learn a foreign language. And now, more than ever, the immersion experience isn't limited to just world travelers. With a little creativity and the right resources, you can experience the language without ever having to leave your hometown. Many of these resources can be found with our complete language learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account by clicking on the link in the description. Get tons of resources to immerse yourself in your target language. And if you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a new language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. I'll see you next time. Bye! Want to speak real Russian from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at RussianPod101.com. Tatu. Tatu были очень популярны и за пределами России. Слышал о них? Tatu was very popular abroad. Have you heard of them? You should definitely check one of their songs, like Я сошла с ума, like I got crazy, yeah. They're quite cute. <laughs> Try singing that. <laughs> Серебро. Серебро представляли Россию на Евровидении в 2007 году. Серебро represented Russia in 2007 Eurovision Song Contest. B2. B2. B2 – это рок-группа, очень популярная в России, но не думаю, что многие знают их за границей. B2 is a rock band that is very popular in Russia. Ночные снайперы. Night snipers. Ночные снайперы в некоторых песнях использовали стихи Бродского, Ахматовой, Лорки. Ночные снайперы used poetry uh, by Brodsky, Ахматова and Lorca in some of their songs. Aria. Ария назвали русскими Iron Maiden. Ария was known as the Russian Iron Maiden. Футбол. Soccer. Футбол. Soccer. Он все детство гонял в футбол с другими мальчишками. All his childhood he was hanging out with the other boys playing soccer. Фигурное катание. Figure skating. Фигурное Катание. Figure skating. Фигурное катание очень популярно в России. Figure skating is very popular in Russia. Плавание. Swimming. Плавание. Swimming. Мой врач сказал, что плавание может помочь. Так что теперь я хожу в бассейн. My doctor said that swimming could help. So I go to the pool now. Big. Running. Big. Running. Я бегаю каждое утро. I do jogging every morning. Лыжи. Skiing. Лыжи. Skiing. Мы с семьей всегда ездим кататься на лыжах зимой. We always go skiing with my family in winter. Зимний фестиваль. Зимний фестиваль. Winter festival. Зимний фестиваль. Winter festival. Люблю зимний фестиваль в Москве, как в сказке. Люблю зимний фестиваль в Москве, как в сказке. I like the winter festival in Moscow. It feels like a fairy tale. Масленица. 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 Мы с братом всегда участвовали в гуляниях на Масленицу, когда были детьми. Мы с братом всегда участвовали в гуляниях на Масленицу, когда были детьми.
My brother and I always took part in the Maslinica festival when we were kids. Now you should definitely try Maslinica festival if you like pancakes. You will love it. So you make a pancake, a big one like this, you put butter on top and then another pancake on top and then another and another and then it's growing like a tar. Oh, delicious. Вкусно! Золотая маска. Золотая маска. Golden Mask Russian Performing Arts Festival. Золотая маска. Golden Mask Russian Performing Arts Festival. Золотая маска. Самый престижный в России фестиваль кино, балета и оперы. Самый престижный в России фестиваль кино, балета и оперы. Golden Mask is the most prestigious drama, ballet and opera festival in Russia. Московский международный кинофестиваль. Московский международный Кинофестиваль. Moscow International Film Festival. Московский международный фестиваль. Moscow International Film Festival. Московский международный фестиваль – один из самых старых в мире. Московский международный фестиваль – один из самых старых в мире. The Moscow International Film Festival is one of the oldest in the world. Круг света. Круг света. Circle of Light Festival. Круг света. The Circle of Light Festival. На фестивале Круг света можно увидеть потрясающее шоу. На фестивале Круг света можно увидеть потрясающее Световое шоу. At the Circle of Light Festival you can see a great light show. Вечеринка. Party. Давай устроим вечеринку. Давай устроим вечеринку. Let's throw a party. Танцевать. Dance. Я ног не чувствую. Танцевала всю ночь. Я Ног не чувствую. Танцевала всю ночь. I can't feel my legs. I've been dancing all night. Фестиваль. Festival. Мы с друзьями часто ходим на пивные фестивали. Мы с друзьями часто ходим на пивные фестивали. My friends and I often go to beer festivals. Пить. To drink. Не пей слишком много. Не пей слишком много. Don't drink too much. <laughs> But I really doubt you'll hear it in Russian. <laughs> Напиток. A drink. Какие напитки ты любишь? Какие напитки ты любишь? What kind of drinks do you prefer? Карл у Клары украл кораллы. А Клара у Карла украла кларнет. Карл у Клары украл кораллы. А Клара у Карла украла кларнет. Карл стол кораллы от Клары, и Клара стол от Карла его кларнет. Карл у Клары украл кораллы, а Клара у Карла украла кларнет. Карл у Клары Украл кораллы, а Клара у Карла украла кларнет. И я ну. Карлу Клары украл кораллы, а Карла у Клара украла кларнет. О, мой гад, almost, almost there. Карлу Клары украл кораллы, а Карла у Клара... Ну. Карлу Клары украл кораллы, а Клара у Карла у Клара... Карлу Клары украл кораллы, а Карла у Клара... Ну. Карл у Клары украл кораллы, а Клара у Карла украла кларнет. Карл у Клары украл кораллы, а Клара у Карла украла кларнет. Yes! Карл stole кораллы от Клары, и Клара stole от Карла его кларнет. You get it now? Шла Саша по шоссе и сосала сушку. Шла 
Саша по шоссе и сосала сушку. Саша walked along the highway and sucked сушка. Шла Саша по шоссе и сос... Шла Саша по шоссе и сосала сушку. Yes! Саша walked along the highway and sucked сушка. You know what сушка? It's booglik. It's like a round, uh, duff, hard one. <laughs> Шла Саша по шоссе и сосала сушку. На дворе трава, на траве дрова. На дворе трава, на траве дрова. In the courtyard there is grass. On the grass there is firewood. На дворе трава, на траве дрова. In the courtyard there is a grass. On the grass there is firewood. In the courtyard there is grass. On the grass firewood. На траве трава, на траве дрова. Кукушка купила кукушонку капюшон. Надел кукушонок капюшон. В капюшоне кукушонок смешон. Кукушка купила. Кукушонку, капюшон. Надел кукушонок, капюшон. В капюшоне кукушонок смешон. The cuckoo bought a hood for her little cuckoo. Little cuckoo put on the hood. Little cuckoo in the hood looks ridiculous. Кукушка купила кукушонку капюшон. Надел кукушонок капюшон. В капюшоне кукушонок смешон. The cuckoo bought a hood for her little cuckoo. Little cuckoo put on the hood. Little cuckoo in a hood is ridiculous. Кукушка купила кукушонку капюшонок. Надел кукушонок капюшон. В капюшоне кукушонок смешон. Говорил попугай попугаю. Я тебя, попугай, попугаю. Отвечает ему попугай. Попугай, попугай, попугай. Говорил попугай. Попугаю. Я тебя. Попугай. Попугаю. Отвечает ему попугай. 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 One parrot said to another parrot, I'll scare you, parrot. The parrot answers him, scare me, scare me, scare. Говорил попугай, попугай. Я тебя попугаю, попугай. Отвечает ему попугай. Попугай, попугай, попугай. <laughs> One parrot said to another parrot, I'll scare you, parrot. Other parrot answers him, scare me, scare me, scare me. The twist song is that papugai and papugai means uh, the parrot and scare me sounds the same. I mean, it doesn't make sense, but it just sounds funny. <laughs> Я тебе говорила. Я тебе говорила. I told you so. Я тебе говорила. Я тебе говорила. А я тебе что говорила? I told you so. Ладно, без тебя обойдусь. Ладно, без тебя обойдусь. Oh, I'll do it myself. Ладно, без тебя обойдусь. Oh, I'll do it myself. If a girl tells you I'll do it myself, you have to do everything you can to do it for her. <laughs> Otherwise, it's the end of the relationship. <laughs> Ты меня никогда не слушаешь. Ты меня никогда не слушаешь. You never listen to me. Ты меня никогда не слушаешь. Ты меня никогда не слушаешь. Hello. <laughs> you never listen to me. I guess it's... Uh comes to the times when the guys are watching TV and the girl is talking to them about something important at the same time. <laughs> so let's avoid that. Нам надо поговорить. We should talk. Нам надо поговорить. Нам надо поговорить. We should talk. Не важно. Не важно. Never mind. Неважно. Never mind. Means it's very, very important. <laughs> Извините. I'm sorry. Excuse me. Извините. I'm sorry and excuse me. 
If you say I'm sorry, you can say извините, like you're really sorry about something you've done, but you can say excuse me, like you stepped on somebody's foot in a train, you can say ой, извините, хорошо, good, okay, хорошо, okay, good. When somebody asks you how are you doing, как дела, you can say хорошо, спасибо, I'm good, thank you. Помогите. Help. Помогите. Someone. Help, help, help me, somebody. Помогите. For example, if you're a big forest and you don't know your way out, so you have to shout to let people hear you. So you're like, помогите. But it's a really rare situation. I hope you won't be in it. Да. Yes. Да. Yes. Russian people say a lot, да, 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 да. Yes, 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 I agree, да, да, да. Нет, no, нет, no, нет. Would you like to go to dinner with me? No, нет. Сидеть, to sit, сидеть, sit. I don't like to sit. Я не люблю сидеть. For example, if you say I don't like to sit on one spot, literally it means... Uh, Я не люблю сидеть на одном месте, which means uh, you like to move a lot and do, like to do different things and have a lot of things to do. Кушать, to eat. What do you like to eat? Что ты любишь кушать? Что ты любишь кушать? Hmm? Иметь, to have. Иметь, to have. Я имею три собаки. I have three dogs. Делать, to do. I can do this. Я могу это сделать. Я могу, which means I can do. For example, you're doing your homework, so you can say, я делаю домашнее задание. Literally, I'm doing my homework right now. What are you doing today? Что ты сегодня делаешь? Взять, to take. Взять, to take. Я могу тебя взять с собой. I can take you with me. Друг. Friend. Hello, my friend. Здравствуй, мой дорогой друг. Дом. Home. Welcome to my home. Добро пожаловать в мой дом. Добро пожаловать в мой дом. Слово. Word. Pay attention to which word you are using. Смотри за словами. Смотри за словами. Uh, maybe it's not very literal um, translation, but it means watch your mouse or something like that. Место. Place. Okay, let's pick the place for meeting. Давай выберем место для встречи. Давай выберем место для встречи. That's a great place to have a cup of tea. Это отличное место для чашечки кофе. Лицо. Face. Face. Лицо. Your face looks familiar. Твое лицо мне знакомо. Твое лицо мне знакомо. Страшный. Scary. <laughs> Does it look like scary? This movie is so scary. Этот фильм очень страшный. I shouldn't say it with a smile on my face, but... <laughs> Большой. Big. Big. I love watching большой балет. You know? You cannot say it's big ballet. <laughs> Literally, the people who like ballet, they know that there is a very famous uh, ballet in uh, Moscow, which is called большой балет. Большой балет. So, you cannot translate it as a big ballet. <laughs> uh, you have to still say it большой балет. Okay? <laughs> Let's go watch Большой балет. For example, bring me that big uh, basket. Принеси мне эту большую корзину. Принеси мне ту большую корзину. Быстрый. Fast. Быстрый. Fast and quick is the same. In Russian is быстрый. Run as fast as you can. Беги так быстро. Как только можешь. Беги так быстро, как 
столько можешь. Sometimes when the people want to rush you and do something really quick, they can tell you, быстро, быстро, like quick, quick, fast, fast, move, move, you know. Быстро, быстро. <laughs> move your legs. Медленный, slow. Медленный. Why are you so slow? Почему ты такой медленный? Простой. Simple. It's not that simple. Все не так просто. I like this skirt. It's very simple. Мне нравится эта юбка. Она очень простая. Дорогая. Darling. As the word darling, you can say when you are referring to someone as your girlfriend or your, like, dearest friend who is female, uh, your mother, your sister. One is for your girlfriend and one is just for dearest woman in your life. It doesn't mean you are dating your mother, which is awkward. I mean, <laughs> darling, could you pass me the bread? So, дорогая, подай, пожалуйста, хлеб. Есть. To eat. Что у вас есть поесть? What do you have to eat? So in Russian language it could be confusing because есть to have something and есть to eat something has a similar pronunciation. So be careful. I guess our fans are worried about eating. It's very important in Russia, yes. So жили были. Once upon a time. So well, it's used only in uh, fairy tales. As soon as fairy tale story starts, you will always see Once upon a time, жили были grandmother and grandpa. And they had a cute baby, whatever. Здравствуйте. Hello. Здравствуйте. Hello, everyone. Every time you see someone you don't know, you just say Здравствуйте. Or Здравствуйте. Колокол. The bell. So it's big bell. Kolakal. So you ring the bell for religious people to come to church, or you ring the bell when something is wrong so people can hide in the church in old times. Now I'm not sure if we still do that, but maybe some churches still do that. So yes, the bell. Ring the bell. Pazvanit kolakal. Split. Come out to the surface. Split, of split. <laughs> I bet you can't say that. I guess uh, what's difficult about this uh, sound is that V and S come together, one after the other. V split, because split is swimming or floating. So something comes out from inside the water to the top, to the surface. So V split, split. Okay. Now you can say this word. Dnyom. In the afternoon. Well, here you have a hard D changing with the soft yo. So it sounds like dnyom. I prefer having my breakfast in the early afternoon. Я предпочитаю завтракать рано днем. Достопримечательность. Attraction. Достопримечательность. For example, when you're going to Paris or somewhere, you can see many different um, tourist attractions. Let's make a sentence. Eiffel Tower is one of the tourist attractions. Eiffelевая башня – одна из туристических достопримечательностей. Кремль – главная туристическая достопримечательность Москвы. Крем – is a main tourist attractions in Moscow. <laughs> Did it sound too long? Well, sorry, that's Russian, guys. Yozhik, hedgehog. Yozhik, yozhik. Этот yozhik такой милый. This hedgehog is so cute. Солнечные очки. Sunglasses. Солнечные очки. Sunglasses. Нужно купить новые солнечные очки перед отпуском. I need to buy new sunglasses before the vacation. Пляж. Beach. Пляж. Beach. Ай, весь день пролежал бы на пляже. I could be laying on the beach all day. If a woman would like to say the same sentence, you should say весь день пролежала бы на пляже. 
Я весь день пролежала бы на пляже. Плавать. Swim. Плавать. Пойдем поплаваем. Let's go swimming. Солнце. Sun. Солнце. Sun. Солнце вышло из-за туч. The sun came out from the clouds. Nice. Wonderful. Пальма. Palm tree. Пальма. Palm tree. Он устроился в тени под пальмой. Он устроился под пальмой. He settled down under a palm tree in the shade. Ракушка. Seashell. Ракушка. Seashell. На берегу было полно ракушек. The shore was full of seashells. Пляжное полотенце. Beach towel. Пляжное полотенце. Beach towel. Не забудь взять с собой пляжное полотенце. Don't forget to bring a beach towel. Шезлонг. Beach chair. Шезлонг. Beach chair. Она сидела в шезлонге и читала книгу. She was sitting in a beach chair reading a book. Замок из песка. Sand castle. Замок из песка. Sand castle. The castle made of the sand. Дети строят замки из песка. Children are building sand castles. Холодильник. Cooler. Холодильник. Давайте возьмем с собой холодильник с пивом. Let's take a cooler with beer. Прилив и отлив. Tide. Прилив и отлив. Tide. You should be careful that прилив is a tide when the water is coming back. And отлив is when the water goes away. So it's a different, two different types of tides in Russian. Луна влияет на приливы и отливы. Tides are affected by the moon. Школа. School. Школа. School. Это лучшая школа в городе. This is the best school in the city. Учиться. To study. Учиться. To study. Ты знал, что я учился в той же школе? Did you know that I studied at the same school? Сегодня первый день занятий. It's the first day of class. Сегодня первый день занятий. It's the first day of class. Сегодня первый день занятий. И наша школа оживет снова. It's the first day of class and our school will come to life again. Мы в одном классе. We're in the same class. Мы в одном классе! We're in the same class! Yay! High five! Я так рада, что мы в одном классе. I'm so glad we're in the same class. Вы на какие занятия ходите? What classes are you taking? Вы на какие занятия ходите? What classes are you taking? Вы на какие занятия ходите? Я учу русский язык. What classes are you taking? I study Russian. Next. Как жизнь? How is it going? Как жизнь? How is it going? Next. Как прошел день? How is your day? This phrase you can say at the meeting at the end of the day. For example, the wife asks her husband about how's his day at work. Как прошел день? How's your day? Next. Добрый день. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. So, uh, usually greet is business correspondence or communication. This phrase is recommended to speak in the interval from uh, 12 p.m. to 6 p.m. Добрый день. Good afternoon. Next. Добрый вечер. Good evening. Good evening in the same as good afternoon only. This phrase should be used after 6 p.m. Добрый вечер. Good evening. Next. Приятно познакомиться. It's nice to meet you. When you get to know a person after you have learned his name, you should say nice to meet you. Приятно познакомиться. 
Nice to meet you. Это все ты виноват. Это все ты виноват. It's all your fault. Это все ты виноват. Это все ты виноват. This is all your fault. I just broke my heel. This is all your fault. You invited me to the date. Unbelievable. <laughs> Ненавижу, когда ты так делаешь. Ненавижу, когда ты так делаешь. I hate it when you do that. Ненавижу, когда ты так делаешь. Ненавижу, когда ты так делаешь. I hate it when you do that. Твои друзья мне не нравятся. Твои друзья мне не нравятся. I don't like your friends. Твои друзья мне не нравятся. Твои друзья мне не нравятся. I don't like your friends. Я думаю, нам нужен перерыв. Я думаю, нам нужен перерыв. I think we should take a break. Я думаю, нам нужен перерыв. I think we should take a break. От тебя помощи не дождешься. От тебя помощи не дождешься. You never help me. От тебя помощи не дождешься. От тебя помощи не дождешься. You never help me. Never. Считаю до трех. I'm going to count to three. Считаю до трех. I'm going to count to three. Выключи компьютерную игру сейчас же. Я считаю до трех. Turn off your computer now. I'm going to count to three. Раз, два, три. No, no, don't, 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 don't enough. Stay with me, stay with me, Katusha, Russian language. <laughs> Хватит. Stop. Хватит. Stop. Хватит плакать. Хватит. Все. Хватит. Stop running around. Stop. Хватит бегать. Хватит. Что ты сказал? What did you say? Что ты сказал? What did you say? To your mother. What did you say? Excuse me. Can you repeat it again? Я не шучу. I'm not kidding. Я не шучу. I'm not kidding. Так, я не шучу. I'm not kidding. Seriously. Сейчас же выключай телевизор. Turn the TV off now. Сейчас же выключай телевизор. Turn the TV off now. Сейчас же выключай телевизор. Который час уже? What time is it? Turn the TV off now. aboard an express train where you're about to arrive at your next destination. Suddenly, the train slows and comes to an unexpected stop clearly short of the station. There are no instructions from the conductor. 
Concerned, you pick up and read the emergency instructions pamphlet aboard the train. According to the pamphlet, what should you do in this situation? According to the pamphlet, what should you do in this situation? The pamphlet says that you should not attempt to exit the train because the train tracks are electrified. Instead, you should stay seated and wait for help to arrive. Оставаться на своем месте и ждать, пока прибудет помощь. You are at a train station platform where you are waiting for your train. There's a small pamphlet sitting on a display case about a new train that will be introduced next year. You decide to pick up and read the pamphlet. What is the main feature and the biggest advantage of the new train? What is the main feature and the biggest advantage of the new train? The main feature of the train is that it is propelled by magnetism. The biggest advantage is that it can reach twice the speeds of any train that runs on tracks. Поезд, движимый силой электромагнитного поля, может достигать скорости вдвое больше, чем поезда, движущиеся по рельсам. Want to speak real Russian from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at RussianPod101.com. Woohoo! Hi everyone! Today, me, Katisha, and you are gonna be discussing 15. Happy words. Let's check it out. Счастливый. Happy. Счастливый. Happy. Счастливый. There is actually ch. Well, Russian ch. Sch. But it sounds more like sh. Sh. So you say счастливый. Happy. My friend is happy to meet me. Мой друг. Счастлив меня встретить. Добрый. Kind. Добрый. Kind. Oh, you're so kind. Ой, ты такой добрый. You're so kind to me. Ты так ко мне добра. Thank you, спасибо. Замечательный. Great. Замечательный. Great. It's a bit longer than English version. You just say great here, great there. But in Russian, no, you use it only something is really great. So you say, замечательно, замечательный. Today is a great day. Сегодня замечательный день. 
красивый. Beautiful. Красивый. Beautiful. So make someone happy and tell them they're beautiful. Oh, она такая красивая. She's so beautiful. Or these flowers are so beautiful. Эти цветы такие красивые. Нравится. To like. Нравится. Like. I like to hang out with you. Мне нравится гулять с тобой. Мне нравится с тобой гулять. Смешной. Funny. Смешной. Funny. <laughs> Ты такой смешной. You're so funny. Ты такой смешной. Or, in case of a girl, Ты такая смешная. You're so funny, girl. Энергичный. Lively. Energetic. Энергия is energy. Your friend is so energetic. Твой друг такой энергичный. Like maybe you like looking at him and he's dancing three hours straight and you're like, твой друг такой энергичный. Your friend is so energetic. Wow, full of energy. Восторженный. Excited. Восторженный. Excited. I was so excited to watch you dance. Я была восторжена, когда увидела, как ты танцуешь. I was so excited when I saw you dancing. Я была восторжена твоим танцем. Позитивный. Positive. Позитивный. Positive. I try to stay positive all the time. Я стараюсь быть позитивной все время. Я стараюсь быть позитивной постоянно. Расслабленный. Relaxed. Расслабленный. Relaxed. I'm very relaxed right now. Я очень расслаблен сейчас. Somebody's giving me a massage, you can say, Oh, I'm so relaxed. Я так расслаблен. Сердечный. Warm. Сердечный. Warm personality. Somebody's good to you. Он очень сердечный. Его поступки очень сердечные. Means uh, he does everything from, from the heart, from the bottom of the heart to you, for you. It's very, very kind and nice word, and I think you should use it. You should remember it. Смеяться. <laughs> to laugh. Смеяться. To laugh. Oh my god! <laughs> ah, you make me laugh. Ты заставляешь меня смеяться. You make me laugh so much. Ты меня заставляешь так смеяться. Довольный. Satisfied. Satisfied. Довольный. I'm so satisfied with my test results. Я так довольна результатами своего экзамена. Любить. To love. Любить. To love. I love jogging in the mornings. Я люблю бегать по утрам. Заботливый. Caring. Заботливый. Caring. Забота is care. Somebody's care. Забота. Uh, my boyfriend is very caring. Мой парень очень заботливый. It's very nice. Okay, so today it was 15 happy words for you in Russian and me, Katusha. Hope you could remember some and use it in your daily life. So don't forget to subscribe and see you later. Пока, пока. Hi, it's me, Katusha. How are you? How are you? How are you? Today our new topic, as you could guess, is 10 responses to how are you? Now, let's begin. Давайте начнем. У меня все нормально. I'm fine. Now, how are you? Как дела? У меня все нормально. I'm fine. Спасибо, что спросили. Thank you for asking. How are you? Спасибо, что спросили. Thanks for asking. Thank you for asking. I'm fine. Как дела? Спасибо, что спросили. У меня все нормально. А ты? А у тебя? And you? How are you? And you? Как дела? А ты? А у тебя? I'm fine. And you? Как дела? 
У меня все нормально, а ты? У меня все отлично. I'm great. У меня все отлично. I'm great. And you? Я в порядке. I'm okay. How are you? I'm okay. And you? Как дела? Я в порядке, как ты. Я плохо чувствую себя. Я плохо себя чувствую. I'm feeling bad. Oh my god, how are you? Mm, I'm feeling bad. Как дела? Как ты себя чувствуешь? Я плохо себя чувствую. Я хочу спать. I'm sleepy. How are you? Uh, I'm sleepy. Uh, я хочу спать. Uh, how are you? Я тоже хорошо. I'm fine too. I'm fine. How are you? I'm fine too. У меня все хорошо. А ты? Я тоже хорошо. Спасибо. Я неплохо. I'm not bad. How are you? I'm not bad. And you? Как дела? Я неплохо. А у тебя? Как вы в последнее время? How have you been recently? Как вы в последнее время? How have you been recently? Uh, maybe I will ask this question to my grandmother. And maybe she would answer... I'm feeling bad. Я плохо себя чувствую. Катюша, how are you? <laughs> как дела? Как дела? Hmm? Как дела? Please tell me, how are you? Tell me now on RussianPod101.com. It was 10 responses to how are you. Пока-пока. Всем привет! Hi, it's me, Katusha. Today we're gonna talk about 20 travel phrases you should know. You cannot survive without these phrases, so pay attention. Вы говорите по-английски? Do you speak English? Hi, excuse me, do you speak English? Простите, извините, вы говорите по-английски? Здесь ходит автобус из аэропорта в город. Is there a bus from the airport to the city? Здесь ходит автобус из аэропорта в город. Is there a bus from the airport to the city? Этот автобус идет в аэропорт. Is this the right bus for the airport? And when you want to get to the airport, you should ask. Этот автобус идет в аэропорт. Is this the right bus to the airport? Где находится вокзал? Where is the train station? Где находится вокзал? Where is the train station? Извините, сколько оплата за проезд? Excuse me, what's the fare? When you want to take a train or a bus, you should ask Извините, а сколько стоит проезд? Excuse me, what's the fare? Не могли бы вы дать мне карту? Could I get a map? This should be the phrase you should always remember. Не могли бы вы дать мне карту? Could I get a map? I'm lost again. У меня есть бронь. I have a reservation. First thing you should say when you're in a hotel is у меня есть бронь. I have a reservation. Не могли бы вы дать мне скидку? Could you give me a discount? When you're in shop, you can try asking. Не могли бы вы мне дать скидку? Could you give me a discount? Сколько это стоит? How much is this? Now this is a phrase which you can use everywhere. Сколько это стоит? How much is this? Можно померить? Can I try this on? Now when you're in a shop, you should say this. Можно померить? Can I try this on? Я бы хотел это. I'd like this. Hmm, when you cannot decide what you want in the shop and finally you know what you want, you should say Я бы хотел это. I would like this. Вы принимаете кредитные карты? Do you take credit card? Before you pay, you should ask Вы принимаете кредитные карты? Do you take credit cards? The answer could be no, so be ready. Не могли бы вы сфотографировать меня, пожалуйста? Could you take a picture of me, please? And one of the phrases you can use at all the places you want to take a picture. Не могли бы вы сфотографировать меня, пожалуйста? Could you take a picture of me, please? 
Здесь есть бесплатный Wi-Fi? Is there a free Wi-Fi? Also, this phrase could be very useful while you're traveling. Здесь есть бесплатный Wi-Fi? Do you have free Wi-Fi? You should emphasize on бесплатный, free. Место для некурящих, пожалуйста. I'd like to have a non-smoking seat, please. If you don't smoke, please be careful to choose your seat. Место для некурящих, пожалуйста. I'd like to have a non-smoking seat, please. У вас есть какие-нибудь рекомендации? Do you have any recommendations? Hmm. У вас есть какие-нибудь рекомендации? Do you have any recommendations? Если у вас какие-либо вегетарианские блюда? Do you have any vegetarian dishes? Если у вас какие-нибудь вегетарианские блюда? Do you have any vegetarian dishes? У меня аллергия на арахис. I'm allergic to peanuts. У меня аллергия на арахис. I'm allergic to peanuts. Воды, пожалуйста. Water, please. Excuse me, water, please. Извините, воды, пожалуйста. Спасибо. Thank you. And, uh, of course, you should say спасибо. Thank you. Now, all these phrases are very important, maybe life-saving when you're traveling to Russia. So, do your best and try to remember them. Thank you for staying with me, Katusha. Please don't forget to subscribe and check out RussianPod101.com. Пока-пока! Всем привет! And it's me, Katusha. Hi there! And today we're going to be talking about a very delicious topic. 10 Russian foods. What Russian people eat. The first... Russian food I'm going to talk about has a very weird name because I think it comes after somebody's family name and it sounds like beef stroganov and we talk about meat. So yes, I love beef stroganov and now when I'm talking about it I would want to have one. So, let's order beef stroganov. Давай закажем beef stroganov. Борщ. I think it's one of the most famous dishes of Russian cuisine. In other Soviet Union countries, they also have this dish. Some people would add mushrooms, some people would add bacon, some people would add only like pork or something else. Have you tried borscht before? Вы пробовали борщ раньше? Окрошка. Pay attention, I, it says O from the beginning, but actually when I say it, it sounds with A. Окрошка. We like to eat it cold, especially in summer. Please try окрошка. Пожалуйста, попробуйте окрошку. Пельмени. Reminding many people Chinese gyoza. It's minced meat inside. There cannot be anything else. Only minced meat. So, пельмени. We can try and make пельмени together. Мы можем попробовать сделать пельмени вместе. Пирожки. Very famous from, again, Soviet Union times. Пирожки. Пирожки could be with cabbage, with meat with um, berries, like fruits, apples. The grandmas were like outside baking pirashki at home and selling it just outside to anyone, any passing by person. Oh, so delicious. Hot pirashki. Горячие пирожки. Maybe even in old movies you can hear it. Горячие пирожки, горячие пирожки. Hot pirashki, hot pirashki. Everyone come up, come and buy it from me. Сырники. Сырники are made of cottage cheese. And it's very good with a sour cream and a bit of sugar on top or like jam. Oh, it's so good. Моя мама делает очень вкусные сырники. My mom can cook very delicious сырники. Уха. Basically fish soup. It's actually food for people who go uh, fishing because with a simple Mm, set of a uh, fire and uh, cooking pan. You just put water inside, you put fish that you just cut, potatoes, onion, and uh, like simple vegetables, and uh, it's ready. Ta da! Uha! Shi! Uh, so it's a traditional soup, commonly made of sorrel. In the countryside, we grow it a lot, sorrel. So it's very nice to eat it in summer because uh, with the sour cream, of course. It's great combination for summer when it's too hot. Красная икра. Red caviar. 
So it used to be a very delicacy food in old times, so not everyone could afford it. Even now it's quite expensive if it's a good one. So, But we have many different, let's say, types of it, so you can go to the shop and choose the one you like. Which red caviar would you recommend? Какую красную икру вы бы порекомендовали? Вареники. Вареники. Вареники is similar to пельмени, but it has a different shape, like a half moon. Also, it can have not only meat, not only uh, apples or some vegetables. It can also have cottage cheese. And again, uh, the last touch, you add a sour cream in the end. I love Vareniki with uh, cherries. Very delicious. You should try one. So, please try cook Russian food or order it somewhere near a restaurant. And uh, hope you will enjoy it and hope you will love it. It was me, Katusha, and 10 Russian foods for you. So don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you another time. See you later. Пока -пока. Hi, everybody. It's me, Katusha. Welcome to Russian Top Words. Today's our topic is must-know expressions for agreeing and disagreeing. Welcome. Let's begin. Давайте начнем. Я согласен. Маскалин. Я согласна. Feminine. I agree. Я не согласен. Нет. Masculine. Я не согласна. Нет. Feminine. I don't agree. No. Я согласен. Masculine. Я согласна. Feminine. I agree. Я согласен. Я согласна. Will you go to movies with me? Yes, I will. Ты пойдешь со мной в кино? Да, я согласна. Я не согласен. Нет. Masculine? Я не согласна. Нет. Feminine? No, I don't agree. I think we can finish this project in two months. No, I don't agree. Мне кажется, мы можем закончить этот проект за два месяца. Нет, я не согласен. Will you marry me? Yes, I will. Ты согласна выйти за меня замуж? Да, я согласна. Я вся твоя. I'm all yours. Я так не думаю. I don't think so. Я так не думаю. I don't think so. I bet you can eat this cake in uh, three seconds. No. I don't think so. Я уверен, ты сможешь съесть это пирожное за три секунды. Нет, я так не думаю. Конечно. Of course. Конечно. Of course. Shall we stop by coffee shop? Sure, of course. Давай зайдем в кафешку. Конечно. Правда. That's true. Правда? That's true. Is it true you have twins now? That's true. <laughs> Это правда, что у тебя близнецы сейчас? Да, правда. Точно. Exactly. Точно. Exactly. I remember where you forgot your iPhone. It was on the sofa. Exactly. Я помню, что ты забыл свой iPhone на диване. Точно. Боюсь, что я не согласен. I'm afraid I disagree. Боюсь, что я не согласен. I'm afraid I disagree. I'm afraid I disagree with your political view. Боюсь, что я не согласен с твоим политическим взглядом. Я не могу не согласиться с вами. I couldn't agree with you more. Я не могу не согласиться с вами. I couldn't agree with you more. What a lovely weather. Oh, I couldn't agree with you more. It's wonderful. Какая прекрасная погода. Ой, великолепная. Не могу не согласиться с вами. Полагаю, что так. I guess so. Полагаю, что так. I guess so. I think cinema was open till 9 p.m. 
I guess so. Мне кажется, кинотеатр был открыт до 9 вечера. Hmm. Полагаю, что так. Может быть. Maybe. Может быть. Maybe. Are you gonna go clubbing with us? Maybe. Ты пойдешь с нами в клуб? Может быть. Может быть. Что вы думаете? What do you think? Что вы думаете? What do you think? Shall I dye my hair? What do you think? Мне может покраситься? Что вы думаете? It was Mika, Tisha and our new topic. Must know expressions for agreeing and disagreeing. So let me know what do you think. What do you think? Что вы думаете? You agree or disagree? Согласна, не согласна? So we keep in touch. Check out RussianPod101.com and don't forget to comment. Пока, пока. Всем привет! Hi everybody, it's me, Katusha. Welcome to RussianPod101.com. Today our topic is five sentence patterns for beginners. So if you're a beginner, it's perfect for you. Watch me. Меня зовут. My name is. Меня зовут. And your name. My name is. And your name. Меня зовут Сергей. А вас? My name is Sergey. And you? Yeah, I am. Yeah, yeah, I am. Я учитель. I am a teacher. Где? Where is? Где? Where is? Где Джон? Где вокзал? Where is John? Where is the station? Так. That's so. Так. That's so. <laughs> so. <laughs> так красиво. That's so beautiful. Так дорого. That's so expensive. I prefer beautiful example. <laughs> Я люблю. I like. Я люблю. I like. Я люблю шоколад. I like chocolate. Я люблю петь. I like to sing. There is a slight difference in like and love, but in this case, люблю is something you really, really like. So we also use it to love something, like I love chocolate. But if you really like something, you can also say this word in Russian. Люблю. Hey, so it was me, Katusha, with five sentence patterns for beginners. How did you like it? Please comment. And stay with me in RussianPod101.com. See you later. Пока, пока. Hi, everyone. Do you know the 1,000 most useful phrases? In Russian? In this lesson, you'll be able to know all of them. So sit back, relax, and have a cup of tea as you listen and learn. Где находится туалет? Извините. Клёво. У меня есть бронь. Сколько это стоит? Что это? Спасибо. Правда? Не могли бы вы дать мне скидку? Здесь есть бесплатный Wi-Fi? Могу я получить счет? У вас есть какие-нибудь рекомендации? Можно померить? You just learned the 1,000 most useful phrases in Russian. And if you're interested in learning more, Try learning the core 2000 word list. With this, you'll understand 95% of the language, and best of all, this is not a joke. Check out the description below and go to RussianPod101.com now. See you next time. 
Hi, everybody! Всем привет! This is Mika Tisha and welcome to Russian Top Words. And today our topic is Top 10 Phrases for Surviving Back to School. Stay with me. Рюкзак. Backpack. Рюкзак. Backpack. Ты уже собрал рюкзак на завтра? Have you already packed your backpack for tomorrow? Hmm? Одноклассник. Classmate. Одноклассник. Classmate. Хочу снова увидеть одноклассников. I want to see my classmates again. Домашняя работа. Homework. Домашняя работа. Homework. Ненавижу домашнюю работу. I hate homework. You too? <laughs> Экзамен. Exam. Экзамен. Exam. Ты готов к экзамену по математике? Are you ready for a math exam? Летние каникулы. Summer break. Летние каникулы. Summer break. Мы всегда путешествуем на летних каникулах. We always go traveling during summer break. Школа. School. Школа. School. Это лучшая школа в городе. This is the best school in the city. Учиться. To study. Учиться. To study. Ты знал, что я учился в той же школе? Did you know that I studied at the same school? Сегодня первый день занятий. It's the first day of class. Сегодня первый день занятий. It's the first day of class. Сегодня первый день занятий. И наша школа оживет снова. It's the first day of class and our school will come to life again. Мы в одном классе. We're in the same class. Мы в одном классе! We're in the same class! Yay! High five! Я так рада, что мы в одном классе. I'm so glad we're in the same class. Вы на какие занятия ходите? What classes are you taking? Вы на какие занятия ходите? What classes are you taking? Вы на какие занятия ходите? Я учу русский язык. What classes are you taking? I study Russian. To ask me, Katisha, thank you for watching top 10 phrases for surviving back to school. I hope we all survived and we will survive. Thank you for staying with RussianPod101.com and don't forget to comment how much you hate your homework. Пока, пока. Want to speed up your language learning? Take your very first lesson with us. You'll start speaking in minutes and master real conversations. Sign up for your free lifetime account. Just click the link in the description.